Your DIYs always rock, but this one takes it to the next level. You like that? Orly's here with the DIY rock salt lamps. Oh, Cameron, it's so pretty. It's really, <laughs> like, really cool. That's... If she does say so herself, everybody. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta say, it's one of those things where, yes, it's, it's a rock salt lamp, but really I love it because it's honestly a great dupe for these pink quartz crystal lamps, which are thousands of dollars. And yes. so it's just the aesthetic of it is really elevated and beautiful, but there's something great about the fact that it's natural and salt. It's just even cooler. There, there's so many different aspects of the, about, about this that I want to talk about, but yeah. one of them is that we're using Himalayan rock salt, yeah. which is something that I put in my water every day. Yep. It's such a great healthy salt. It's packed with minerals. It's good for you, especially if you're eating low carbohydrate, you have to uh, supplement with electrolytes. So there you go. Also the fact that we probably all have lamps lying around that we're kind of like, eh, this one doesn't work eh, anymore. 100%. You know what I mean? This and is, then ta -da! transform it. This is a great way to upcycle. And let's talk about the lamps. Okay. So when you are picking the lamp that you're going to use, the most important thing I think is something that has somewhat flat edges. A fully cylindrical one is going to be a little bit harder because you yeah. have smaller spaces where they're going to lay flat. Something like this is super cool gotcha. or even yours. This has got like, uh, I don't know, it's almost like an octagon or, exactly. something, or a hexagon maybe. Exactly. Yeah, that, and that's, yeah, really, yeah. that's really it. We Very are good. gonna be using hot glue right now just so that we can actually be moving along, but do not use hot glue. You wanna use E6000. Good point. So that it is strong, that way you can literally pick it up and not a single thing is gonna come off. Okay, I would great. not use hot glue in real life. We're doing that so we can- And because we're, you, know, you would be using E6000, the length of time this uh, comes together may yeah. be several days, but we'll actually every day will be a very short amount of time. That's right, that's right. You'll do, work on it for 30 minutes, let that whole section dry, yeah, good, come good. back to it the next day. But yeah, that's right. And as we get going here, we start gluing on, I wanna point out that you know you can just, you've got a whole box of these great, beautiful Himalayan salt. Yeah, guys, this was $15 on Amazon. I believe it's a nine pound box. When you open it, you are gonna have different variations. You can actually see the difference in color that you can get. So what you wanna make sure that you do is pull out all of the lighter colors for this lighter crystal. If you like this, go for it. But if you kinda of wanna mimic pink crystal, you're gonna pull out all the light ones and pull all the dark ones off to the side for another project. I feel like crushing some of these up and using them in my like lunch later. I'm As sure you should. What's going on here. I do. All I right. save it all. So, so you use the larger pieces. Obviously, you cover as much as you can. Exactly. Take me through the strategy. So basically what you want to do is you want to lay out a few pieces at a time before you glue. So we've got this working and I'll say like, okay, I think that one works. So now let's see, would this guy work here? And does this work here? No, let's find another one. You start doing it like a puzzle. Once you have a good amount that you like, lift up one, add your E6000, pretend yeah. that this is E6000, and you are just going to hold it right there. Now, the benefit of laying it flat is, again, let's say this was E6000. I have all this time for it to fully cure. Give it its 24 hours to cure, and it's not going to move because it's level. Okay. So that's why you're working in sections like this. So you okay, would just excellent. keep going. Don't be too, you want to get as tight of a fit as possible, but okay. don't be too concerned because that's that? where all the smaller pieces come gotcha. into play. So you've got the large, you sort of got the medium, and then you've got ones that are kind of more crushed up, maybe at the bottom of the box that you can find you, to fill in the little gaps. No, actually what you're going to do, Cameron, is you're going to take a, take a large piece, I'm not going to do it here yeah. because you want to do this on concrete. You would take a, a little rag, put the salt inside on a concrete surface so you have a good, so no give back, and then whoosh, whack it, and when you open it up, you'll get all of these smaller pieces. Fantastic. Those are, basically, if you look up in this one, you can see all of my bigger rocks are all across the back, and then I went in and I just started fitting them in anywhere that I wanted to start creating. You, you don't wanna see the uh, lamp at all. So let's say, for example, that my front is done. Okay. What I would do now is I would flip to the side yep. and I'd start working on this side and this inner side. Got you. That way from a 360, it's fully covered. You're working against gravity. So everything obviously where gravity's working against and you let that, uh, exactly. get, well, basically get uh, fully dry. Cure. Yep. Fully cure it. That's the word I was looking for. Yep. Thank you very much. Now, these do sweat a little bit. So what's yeah. your tip for that? So this is so interesting. I learned from other people that in really humid areas, the salt will actually sweat. So there are two things to consider. One, apparently, and I'm not a total expert on salt, apparently that's actually when the salt is doing its job. It's cleansing the air, it's sort of releasing the negative ions, all the reasons why salt lamps are really cool. But if you don't want that to happen, you might wanna seal it. So you would do like a sealer over it that would protect it. We live in a very dry area in Los Angeles. I've had this next to my bed for two months. I have noticed none of that. 
But when you're in a high humid, high heat area, apparently that's when it releases it. And actually, there are saunas that do this where you go specifically yeah, for, for that salt. purpose. Absolutely. And it's just like that there. It's all pink salt. So I want to take a look at the finished product. And I know you put a little fun uh, twist oh, yeah. on it too real quick here before we go out. Check it out. Yeah. I like using colored lights. That's Yay. next to my bed. That's, that's next to your bed? That's, that's my it's entry music. After I brush my teeth, I walk into my room Weird. like. She's still dancing, baby. I love yeah. it. Orly, these are fantastic. Thank you so <laughs> Thank much. You. We're going to dance it out here. Full instructions, head over to HallmarkChannel.com, everybody.